Okay, short PLC video here. I've got an HMI that is corrupt. A power cycle happened to it, and now it comes up with the download or continue uh, prompt that says, hey, your firmware, your ME machine might be corrupt. Do you want to download firmware? And basically we've been stuck there. So if we choose download, we'll get an IP address, and I'm gonna show you on my computer the IP that it was trying to get to uh, to use. So it, it was displaying this IP. And in fact, you can see that when this was uh, turned on and powered up, the uh, it was replying, okay? However, it would not take. Uh, following the instructions, it would not take. So, uh, also over here, it was coming up as an unrecognized device in links so it definitely was scrambled up pretty bad so the instructions for getting out of this mess is to open it up and remove this flash card out of here and you'll there's a little there's a little piece right here that uh belongs here and then the card itself i'll show you <clears throat> is here it's not this is an adapter but hang on i got only one hand to do this this is the card this is the adapter that i'm putting it in because i'm going to slip it into this pci mca uh, to usb adapter so i'm going to show you on the computer a few steps of what we got to do here now according to Rockwell. All right, the good thing here is it's totally bricked, so really can't hurt it at all. I'm putting the card back in. The bad news is it's totally bricked and we can't use it at all. So, uh, that's in the wrong way. Okay. So, it's going to give me a prompt saying, hey, your doohickey is back here, here it is. All right, so the instructions are to go to the wizard, the firmware update wizard. So I usually just type firmware. There's the upgrade wizard right there. So I have that open and what I'm gonna do is, I was trying upgrade firmware on terminal, that wasn't working. So what we're gonna have to do is create a firmware card. So what it wants us to do is select our card that has all this baloney in it okay and then tell it what kind it is it's a panel view plus compact 1000 all right i'm gonna go next and then i don't have a version on this computer. hang on i gotta get an installer i'll be right back Okay, well, I probably did have the software, the updates. I did put it right here and installed it, but this was the problem. The path here was not correct. So, uh, fix the path. Version 5.1 came right up. I'm not going to add anything. And we're going to nuke everything on that card. Ah. <sighs> All right, I'm trying to follow Rockwell's instructions here, so you guys are kind of seeing it with me. Let's see what this card is. It's an FAT format. I don't even know if we can format to that. Let's try it. All right, well, it's gone now. Firmware, let's go. I'm trying to hold this phone for you guys to make this kind of less horrible. Okay, so that worked. Now the instructions continue to go back into the card and delete. Delete this stuff. Go into the upgrade, go to the system bin and cut that system bin file out and then go back and delete this upgrade folder. They said this is the only thing that needs to be on the card said okay so I'm going to remount the card put this whole thing back together 
turn it back, turn on the camera again, and we'll watch together what this thing does. Okay, you and me are watching this together. This is the first startup. Let's see what happens. Their instructions really don't tell me what the next thing to do is. <laughs> so this is the step that we were at before. All right, let's, this is, we're back to square one, I guess. Maybe, maybe now it'll work though. I don't know. So download. Okay. And then the IP is completely bonkers. So that's not good. Can't use that one. So that is, for anybody who doesn't know, that particular IP is the loopback address of an Ethernet connection, <coughs> IPv4, and that, you can't ping, you can always ping that, no matter what it is, so that won't work. So let me connect this guy, see if, and re reboot this thing, and uh, let's see what happens. Let's keep going here. We're, we're in Rockwell world now. Okay, plugged in the, the uh, IP. So now at least we have an IP. All right, so let's go back over here. Now that's the IP this thing was back when, uh, back when it decided to die on me. So, all right, let's see if we can do this. Upgrade firmware on terminal, I don't know. Yeah, okay, you gotta hit this type first and then hit this next oh hey guys it worked terminal is about to be upgraded oh yeah we're about to upgrade to 5.1 maintain power to terminal okay all right this is working, okay? So before I was getting a message saying that firmware would not work, this, this this particular procedure was giving me an error saying no talking. So over here, it's doing something and uh, that's better than before. So I'm going to let it do what it's gonna do and I'll cut back for you guys to see later uh, where we're at. The hope is just to get a usable logic module again. And now that I've blabbed long enough, it's done. Press OK to restart the terminal. How is that going to work? Hitting OK here restarts the terminal? OK. The terminal says downloading files. I'm a little excited that this worked because, as you know, this stuff never works. It looks to me like it actually, okay, over here, this is now off or empty, it's closed out. And we're doing what looks to me like a firmware flash. Now I know this had 5.1.16 on it before, but it was corrupted somehow. And I'll be doggoned if that's not how you fix this. Now I don't know if this works uh, this probably doesn't, wouldn't work for any of them without a, a CF card in them, a compact flash, but, um, these older compacts, I think they have the flash in them. So if yours has a flash and you're having this issue, let's continue watching together as I sit in the fluorescent lights and you see my phone recording this. Oh man. Oh man, guys. <laughs> Let's do this. All right. I always feel like I'm gonna do this wrong and it's gonna be like crooked and I won't know how to fix it. All right. I think we're good for another restart now. This screen is bad, but the logic module was running. I don't know if I trust it anymore, but who knows? Oh man, it's doing all kinds of stuff, you guys. <clears throat> I hope like a Rockwell, I hope Rockwell engineers watch these things and just 
just smile that their 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 advanced recovery procedure works. <laughs> Because this isn't the first thing you do. You're you're supposed to go on. You're supposed to get a uh, USB card and put it in here, and not have to do all this. But but if that doesn't work, uh, you know you have to do all this. So I may cut all of this for time, just because it. Who wants to watch this thing install? It's just so exciting, every step. Okay, so it, it went to a gray screen saying updating firmware for quite a while, probably three or four minutes, and then it rebooted itself. <clears throat> screen went black like it normally does. And then the little, because this is 5.1, the little white square did come up in this corner. However, this being completely wiped, uh, it pretty much came up to the con to the config screens anyway. So one thing I wanted to mention was this address was the address that the unit was in before it lost its brain. Now, I have seen with these, the reason, uh, the reason I think it, it showed up with the loopback address, 127001, is because I had the Ethernet connection unconnected. When you unconnect this, this often shows up as 0000. zero, zero, zero. So plugging this in to do the Ethernet, uh, to Ethernet operation, I think was necessary. So we should have nothing in here, okay. But what we have is a usable logic module again, which we did not have before. So uh, thanks for hanging out, thanks for watching. And uh, you know, sometimes the good guys win. You know, never forget that. Occasionally the good guys do win. So I'll catch you in the next one.